I know there's young people there tonight, and I want to say to them, look, the key to your success is that piece of paper that you're going to get when you graduate from USC. And continue to dream, because if you don't dream, you can't become. And that's so, so important. At 16 and 17, I was dreaming that I would play the NBA and that I would be a businessman. And guess what happened? My first life, yes, I was an NBA player for the world champion Los Angeles Lakers. And now, the first African-American female ever appointed to the Bahamas. And President Obama is the first African-American president in the White House because there were people who suffered and were terrorized and tortured, whether they're relatives or ancestors, pretty much every day of their lives. And we have a responsibility to take the opportunity that we have and to do our best and to be our best. Whatever happens in the end, as long as you did your best, that's okay. But it's a wasted opportunity and to do otherwise. And again, it's just extremely important to remember that we're all standing here and in this room because other people paved the way for us to be here. is called Produce by Faith, and, and why I'm so literally this week, in these past few months, I have been burning on all cylinders because I got to get this message to the world. I need people to know that you don't have to compromise your faith to find success. And that, it's funny because I look at the, the, the uh, biographies, right? And you look at everybody else, it's like, it fills up a page. You know, mine is like half the page. And I'm like, yo, what is this? <laughs> But one of the things that, that God revealed to me, he said, son, I'm still writing your script. And I want you to know that no matter what you're going through, and it's very difficult sometimes to look at life from the perspective that God sees. Um, but if you look at your life as a story that is unfolding, one of the greatest stories ever told, in those moments when you want to give up, just remember it's only one scene. And what great movie have you ever seen where the main character did not face tremendous conflict before they achieved their greatest victory. I encourage you, let God produce your life by faith. For all those young people out there and you're trying to pursue, don't worry so much. Sit back and enjoy life and let the game come to you. I would like to thank my fellow uh, honorees. It's been a blessing to even be mentioned in the same sentence. Um, and I also want to encourage all of us there is still a lot more work to do. I know that people want to, you know, get down on, on President Obama. Listen, he's only one man. My question is, what are we going to do to get this country where it needs to be? And as cliche as it might sound, that work does start in this room. If we want to return America to where it should be and needs to be, we have to continue to invest in education because our minds, the power, the, the information that we get and the ability to process that information is what will allow us to stay competitive on the global scale. It's what will allow us to stay literally in sync with what is happening. I encourage all of us to do more. I encourage all of us to never give up giving back and reaching out and helping someone. Uh, I, I'll leave you with one anecdote. A few months ago, I got the opportunity to fly out to uh, visit a Tyler Perry at his studios. And regardless to, to what you think of his films, and I know it's always a hot button issue, that's not the point. When I went to his studio, and you walked on his set, there on the lot it said, Tyler Perry Studios. And there were over two to 300 people that were employed by Tyler Perry. What blew my mind was one man following his dream. 300 people's employment were tied to it. We are not just here to have success for ourselves because our <laughs> success is interconnected to everyone else. The days you want to give up, remember, someone else's blessing is dependent on you personally. Thank you so much.